I'm Ellie Bacon and you're watching Pig Out, the new online series discovering the best street foods in London. Today I'm at Portobello Market, one of London's busiest vibrant markets there is. I'm going to be finding some of the traditional Spanish food, hopefully paella. I've heard there's a place called Hamo Hamon which is amazing, so let's go find it. So today I'm with Nick Freeman who owns Hamo Hamon, which is ham ham in English. Nick, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm from South Africa, uh, I'm 42, mm -hmm. I've been in street food for 12 years. I started really, started to try and meet girls, in, in a kind of roundabout way. I had a store. Did it work? Uh, no. Oh, no. Well I'm currently with a girl, I've been in 10 years and it's fantastic, but we didn't meet through street food. Oh, really. well you've got to try, you can't blame a man for trying, yeah. right surely? Yes. Can you talk us through like kind of how you make it? Like, so you've got the seafood and the chicken. Um, how do you make the seafood one from scratch? So we'd start with prawns. Mm -hmm. You get the prawns, you throw them in the pan, you fry them up, then you take them out. Whack in the squid, fry that up, whack in some garlic, get that going nicely. Mm -hmm. Then you've got paprika, tomato, and then what we call a sofrito, which is roast red peppers and onions. You add the seafood stock, add the rice, add the prawns back on, add the mussels, peas, a bit of colour, red pepper, a bit of colour. So you end up with this just beautiful just display. Colours. Red, green, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. And then how do you, how do, you do the chicken one? Chicken, we, we cook the chicken beforehand mm -hmm. and you add in garlic, tomato, that, those are the That basics. garlic smells amazing by the way, like it's incredible. You can't cook without garlic. Can't I bet people are allergic to garlic, I, I don't know, I don't know how they get on. It's not normal. No. Mm -hmm. you mix it all up and once that's nicely mixed you add the chicken stock, get that to the boil, add the rice and then maybe three, four minutes from the end you add on but butter beans which are uh, intrinsically a part of the Bahia Valenciana, mm -hmm. makes it specifically from Valencia. I think street food creates a certain type of person, not just street food, it's street market. And the banter is amazing. Screaming and shouting. Screaming and shouting. I mean, Portobello Road is the original old school market. Street food's very popular. You know, you throw a brick and you get two street traders. Do you have a secret recipe that you can tell us? Or is it just simple paella as, as you do it? If I had a secret recipe and I told you, it wouldn't be a secret. Um, <laughs> Got to try. I'd say it's the prawns putting the prawns in and frying them and taking them out. Well, I was wondering, can we try some of the paella? Because I'm really excited and it looks amazing. You got the money? <laughs> you can have what you want? Yeah, of course. Come on of course. Over. Thank you so much. I'm going to try some of this now. I can't wait. And um, yeah, like like we'll get out your hair. Mm. Amazing. It's so Thank good. Oh my God. Really, really nice. See, I like that face. That's one of the main reasons I do this as well. Because really? you get that thing, we cook for you, you get the food, you eat <gasps> if you like it, and I'm like, okay, great. Uh, mm. Oh, God. Very, very nice. We'll leave you to get back to work now. We'll get out of your hair. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm going to really, really nice. Tell me more where I came from. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see me going around London a bit more and trying some more street food, subscribe below, leave your comments, um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Um, yeah, hopefully see you all soon. Bye. Big out. <laughs>